Um, uh, this next person is uh, very dear to the mannequin room. He is he's just a wonderful performer and a great friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Harkins. Okay, so um, I'm going to try to get everyone up to speed on the plot of American Horror Story. <laughs> but I'm going to try and do it in, how much time do I have? Let's say like eight minutes? Sure. Okay, eight minutes. <laughs> you're caught, you're caught, you're caught. Okay, don't cool. start yet. I'm going to, um, okay. Cut, okay. <laughs> the reason this is going to be difficult. Is anyone familiar with the show? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the second season is what's happening now, and it is a show that, like, it just so many things happen in one episode, it takes so many different routes, um, but then they do a good job of, like, tying it together, so I'm going to try and do that. Um, all right, I don't know how to okay. yeah. I'm nervous. Okay, yeah, spoilers. If I'm sorry if you're not caught up, but, like, you can't caught up. Um, okay, um... I think the best, the, all right, I'm going to start with Chloe <laughs> Seventy, uh, where all good stories start. Uh, so Chloe Seventy uh, gets sent to this mental institution, it's the Briarcliff Mental Institution in 1964, and she's sent because she uh, is a sex addict, and like the, you start seeing all these patients, some of them are crazy, but some of them are like, you're like, oh, you should, if, you, if it was today, you wouldn't be in there. So she's sent because she's a sex addict, uh, and she gives, like, she gives a security guard a uh, blowjob, which is hilarious, because... <laughs> Holy <laughs> 70, if you've seen the brown bunny, she's yeah. like, she's famous for actually giving somebody a blowjob in a movie. Not a porno movie, but like she actually did it. It's a, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so she's in this mental institution, and like the theme of people there who, who aren't supposed to be there, there's a reporter, her name is Lana. Um, this is Sarah Paulson. She, she goes there because she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the story about this place because it's, there's people who shouldn't be in here, and they're like torturing these people. So she gets in, but she's a lesbian, and the sister who's in charge of the uh, institution, Sister Jude, Jessica Lang, um, uh, she's, uh, uh, alright, she's, <laughs> she basically, uh, she, Two right. minutes. Oh, what? Two, Two minutes. minutes. Oh my god. I'm not even on this. Okay, so. Uh, uh, finds, like these beasts who are, uh, who, are, who are in the thing that like, Dr. Arden uh, is turning people into superhuman beasts. And she gets, uh, Sister Jude is like, you're, I, I talked to your girlfriend. She's like committing you because I was like, I'm going to out you. And she's going to get fired from her school because her girlfriend's also lesbian. She's a teacher. It, it, the times are different. And then, uh, so she, she gets stuck in the mental institution. Uh, how many minutes? Uh, 2.40. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm, I only, I'm only gone for 2.40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just said I had two minutes left. No, no, no. Oh, okay, I can slow down. All right. <laughs> All right, so she's in this mental institution. Uh, there's also a guy, Kit, who had sex with his girlfriend, and then bright lights were everywhere, and it was aliens, and her girlfriend was aliens, and then she's in the mental institution, because they're like, you're bloody face, and there's a serial killer killing people named bloody face, and he's like, no, I'm not, and then Dr. Martin, the doctor in the hospital, pulls out, like, a transformer out of his neck that's, like, a metal, like, uh, the alien that like uh, so and Sister Jude she's like in charge of the hospital she has a second in command Sister Mary Eunice who a boy comes in because his parents are like he's been slaughtering our lambs and uh, he's been eating like their, their animals and he was uh, possessed and uh, they did an exorcism and she fell backwards and like the spirit went into her Sister Mary Eunice the second in command so now she's possessed and she's doing terrible things she's feeding the superhumans that the doctor is making and keeping outside um and then, uh, <laughs> and then Anne Frank shows up. This lady who's brought to the hospital, she's like, I'm Anne Frank, and Sister Jude is like, I don't think you are. But, and I know, like, I know just, I don't know just enough about Anne Frank that this, like, checks out for me. <laughs> so she's there, it's 1963, she would have been in the camps in, like, 1940s, obviously, but she's there now, and she says, I recognize your doctor, Dr. Arden. He is a Nazi doctor. And Sister Jude is already suspicious of the doctor, so she's like, I kind of believe you, Anne Frank. Uh, so she hires an investigator to track this, to like, get, like, figure out stuff about his past. Meanwhile, Dr. Arden has, like, calls a, a, a prostitute over to his house, and the prostitute is there, and uh, he's, like, serving her steak and, like, watching her eat it, and he's like, eat that, and she's like, ah, oh, this is a little weird. And then she goes upstairs to his bedroom and is like, I'm changing, and then, like, goes through his dresser and finds pictures of, like, people tied up, and he comes in, and she... 
like punches him in the face and then disappears. So she gets away. So you already are like really suspicious of Dr. Arden. It, uh, and you would be like, oh, he, it would make sense if he's a Nazi doctor. I'm skipping ahead. You find out he is a Nazi doctor. <laughs> but Anne Frank's husband shows up and is like, oh, she's been saying this for a long time. I just, I don't think she's Anne Frank. And then you find out that she's actually not Anne Frank. But then they kind of leave it like, it, like she could be. Um, <laughs> And then, oh, Chloe Seveny uh, uh, comes on to the doctor, the evil doctor, Dr. Arden, and, and he uh, cuts her legs off. Um, uh, One minute. He cuts her legs off and uh, turns, starts turning her into a monster. And she, like, disappears, or she gets out, but she, like, gets found by a group of school children, like, crawling off the steps. And, they, and then the Monsignor was, like, kills her in the hospital because he's like, oh, the, I run this place because he runs it, uh, and I don't want people finding out. Um, anyway, the, the, the possessed nun and Dr. Arden get together to get Sister Jude. Oh, she ran over a girl. Oh, this is, this is. She ran over. The reason she became a nun, she hit a girl with her car and she thought she killed her. She used to be known as Judy and she would be going to bars and like smoking cigarettes and she was an alcoholic. Uh, but then to like, atone, she became a nun running this hospital. And then she gets kicked out of the hospital, which I can't go into right now, why it happened. But she gets kicked out of the hospital and she goes to visit the family of the dog. Ten, the girl nine. She Eight, so she goes seven, back, uh, six, tries to kill five, oh, four, four, three, two. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse.